What's up guys, Quezzy here bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this galaxy in Photoshop. You may have seen my space scene tutorial, it's one of my most popular videos and I use that as a wallpaper on all my devices for a while. But I wanted to change it up so I created this galaxy using um, various tutorials uh, online and stuff. Um, there's a bunch of different techniques that I saw you could do this and I kind of use them to create my own technique. Um, one person that uh, heavily influenced me was, um, I believe his name is like Visual Pixels. Uh, he used the, or he did his by um, rendering fibers and doing this splatter effect. So I really liked his. So big shout out to him. Um, but I'm gonna be showing you how I then went about creating it. And this is sort of what it looked like. The actual finished product is here. And I'll put a download for my wallpapers that I created for you guys down below if you want them. Um, also, I have the PSD for this down below for my Patreon subscribers. Um, anyone $5 or more can get this. Um, I apologize for those who want it for free, but my channel is not monetized, so this is the only way I can bring in um, some income for these videos that I make. Um, so any support there and on my store, I really appreciate. But let's just jump right into the tutorial. First thing you want to do, create a new document, 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels, 300 resolution, black background. Click create, double click on the background to unlock it, and then just command J to duplicate it. Now we want to go to filter, render, fibers. I'm going to do 16 variants, strength 4. And you can also render clouds or different difference clouds that will just kind of create a different kind of looking galaxy. I'm going to zoom out here, command T to transform, click the outside, hold shift and alt um, and bring this up a little bit. And then I'm just going to click on the outside, hold shift and rotate 45 degrees. Hit enter to confirm that transfer, command J to duplicate that layer, command T to transform again, right click, flip horizontal. So now we're going the other way and then set that to soft light. So we have this crisscross effect going on. And then if we select both those layers, command E to merge. Now that's just one layer. Let's go to the cropping tool over here. Click that and hit enter twice. Go up to image adjustments levels and we're just gonna wanna make this more black and white. So bring this left slider in to get more black and bring this right slider in to get a little more white. And that's pretty good, click okay. I'm going to rename this to one and then I'm going to go to filter, distort, twirl. Now this is the actual galaxy swirl effect itself. Um, the angle I went with, uh, the angle I went with is 811. So you can do anything above about like 600, 650 ish, um, will work. Um, anything above like 900, I don't it will get a little too pix, like um, chunky, pixelated, a little funky. Um, so I'm going to stick with 811. I'm going to click OK. And then um, we want to get the um, elliptical marquee tool. I always want to say circular, but uh, elliptical. Uh, it might be rectangular for you, but if you click and hold and go down to the elliptical, that's what we want. Go to feather up at the top. And change it to like 30 pixels, 40 pixels, 50 pixels. Um, 50 pixels is about the max you could go. If you go 60, it's a little too much. Um, but I'm going to go with 50. And then I'm going to click in the center and hold Shift and Alt and go out. Uh, I'm going to go out just about there. And if you have less, if you have like 30 pixel feather, you can go out a little further. Because um, it will capture less on the outside. Uh, but we just want this spiral here and so let's just go down to the layer mask and click that and boom there's our spiral now this one here at the bottom is just going to be there um or this layer is just going to be here as a backup so we're going to duplicate it two times hide the original just in case and then hide the top one because we're not going to work with that one right now um, and go to this middle one and i'll zoom in here um, by the way, to zoom in and out, you can do command plus or minus. Um, but let's go to image adjustments levels and bring this left slider in. And we want to create just some like white parts. We don't want um, a lot like this is a lot going on. We need a little less. So it's more like cloudy ish. Um, so bring this in. I'll go to about 120 
maybe a little further. Um, some of this will come back, by the way, so when I click OK, you can see some of it comes back. Um, that's fine. But then let's go to Filter, Filter Gallery. And this is the effect that um, Visual Pixels, or whatever his name is, I might be getting that wrong, I hope not. Um, this is the effect he did, which is a splatter effect. So if you go to Brush Strokes, and go to Splatter, and just bring the radius and smoothness all the way up, click OK, and you have this sort of effect going on, which looks really neat. If I hide this background right now, you can see we have a lot of black in this swirl. And we want to get rid of that, we just want the white. So go to select color range, and actually I'm going to hit cancel quick and flip my color so black's at the top. And that's because when you do select color range, um, whatever color's here, and you like whatever color you select will go there. And I don't want black and black, I want black and white. So I'm going to select black, and then click OK. And then come over here to the layer mask, select that, now flip these, and then if you hit command delete, it will fill that, uh, anything that's selected with black, and if I hit command D to deselect, and hide the background, you can see it's just the white parts, uh, which is what we want. Now I'm going to duplicate that layer, and so now we have two, and on the bottom one I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, set it to 50 and hit uh, enter or OK and set both of these layers to 50% uh, percent opacity so it's a pretty dim spiral we have here now we want to go to this um, top one make it visible and we're going to repeat some of the same steps go to image adjustments um, levels um, this time we're not going to go as far we're going to go to about 110 click OK Filter, Filter Gallery, and click OK. That effect should be up again. Do that splatter. And then again, select Color Range. Hopefully black's at the top. Select black, click OK. Select your layer mask. Uh, make sure black's at the bottom. And then Command Delete to fill. Command Deselect. Um, then hit Command T on that layer and just bring this in a little bit like so and set the blend mode to screen duplicate it again command T to um, transform shift alt to transform it or to bring it in like so boom so now we have three layers or levels to the galaxy all right one thing that I notice is like this part right here I can see it's obviously repeated here and here so what I like to do is select these inner layers and just rotate them so that way you don't see them match up and it looks like a completely new layer inside which is what we want um, go to the top layer create a new layer flip these colors now so the whites on top go to your brush Get a soft brush. Um, I already have one selected, but just make sure you have one. And then using the bracket keys, we can increase the size. So I'm going to go about there, about 700, and click in the middle. And I can actually go a little bigger and do that. There you go. Um, there's our little galaxy um, setup, at least step one. And what I'm going to do is select all these layers that are visible. I'm going to leave that one at the bottom and I'm going to command G to group them. Double click on that and call this step one. So now we want to add some color. So I'm going to create a new layer. Alt click on the bottom of that layer to create a clipping mask. Come over here to the gradient tool or just hit G on your keyboard. Select a gradient. I have these, um, I believe they're like planet gradients. I've had them on my Photoshop forever. I'll try to find a download for you guys. Um, and put them in the description um, but you have all these different um, gradients that have like these lines which look really cool and I use this pink one um, so select one you like and then come to the different styles and do a radial gradient and all you want to do is click in the middle and drag to the outside of the galaxy and cool there's our color um, it kinda looks weird now so you have to go to the blend mode and set it to color and that looks a little better um, you can also then go to filter distort 
and you can really do any of these distortions if you do something like wave and just click OK that'll kinda just mix up the different color bands throughout but still keep it still fairly the same um, I'm just gonna hit command Z on that because that's not that important you can also use like filter liquify as well All right. now what I'm gonna do is select the step 1 group and the clipping mask duplicate it and then hit command E so to duplicate command J and then command E and now we have it as one layer I'm gonna hide the step 1 group so now we just have everything here on this layer I'm gonna hit command T and then I'm gonna keep holding command and click this top point and just kind of bring it in here and change the perspective and use these other outer points to kind of create a cool look so I think that looks pretty neat that's a nice setup uh, I'm gonna go ahead duplicate that and go to filter blur Gaussian blur and this time set it to 6 click OK set the opacity to about 85 so now it's a little blurry and kind of makes it glow a little more and yeah I, I like that now I have an image for you guys to download down below I'm not exactly sure if I'll have the original image or what I'm about to show you but I have this little green nebula type thing um, and I'm gonna bring that over and just kind of fit it in here so I want it to kind of follow along the outside so it's a little too big now let me bring it in and this just mix it mix it up add a little different color variation and add some different clouds it just and it has some stars just makes it look a little more interesting you can see it looks weird though up top so we want to put it in between the blur and the normal one so like that and let me actually just put a little more rotation on it and you'll notice in the middle here where it has its clouds it kinda makes it look like it's coming from the middle and kinda dispersing out it has a pretty neat look and I really like that um, you can also bring the opacity down a little more it might be a little too bright go about 70 that looks pretty good yeah I like that now go to the top layer and we'll create a new layer um, back to the brush tool make sure you have white selected and we're gonna add some stars so change the brush size to about 8 pixels and then this button here you just want to click that and that'll be your brush settings uncheck transfer if it's checked and on brush um, tip shape just increase the spacing um, I don't know somewhere close to 400 uh, I'll do 416 on shape dynamics click that make sure it's checked bump up the size jitter click scattering make sure it's checked bump up this um, the scattering and it should look something like that we can bring uh, we can close that settings and you just want to click and drag into the galaxy and try to follow these like arms that stick out so I'm gonna just do that maybe come here follow this we do that one and then go around the galaxy like so and sort of follow the swirl and there you have some stars uh, in this case they're a little too bright they pop out a little too much for my liking so I'm just gonna decrease the opacity a little bit and I like that now um, I'm gonna create a new layer again again be sure to have black and white as your colors go to filter render clouds set that to overlay and bring down the opacity to somewhere in the 30s and that will just be a subtle difference you might not even notice it but I think it uh, makes the look look a little better and duplicate that clouds again bring it to the bottom this time um, set it to screen and add a layer mask to it with that button down there um, make your color black get a soft brush again and we want to get rid of those settings so what I like to do is just click a new brush go back to the soft brush and now you're back to normal settings um, I'm gonna increase the size of the brush with the brackets and I'm just gonna erase the um, corners and stuff and just leave some clouds around the galaxy 
sort of like this it's a little too much um, but if you decrease the size then and just kind of click around so you kind of leave random gaps of the, um, the smoke the gas whatever and if it's a little too gray so like it looks it's a little too white like kind of I want to add some color to it all I did was duplicate this original galaxy here I'm sorry I didn't name the layers I kind of just went through but if I duplicate that that duplicated one I can alt click and make it a layer mask on the clouds command T to transform and just increase the size on it a little bit and that'll be a subtle difference to add to the clouds and you can also go to filter blur Gaussian blur do that six maybe and boom that kind of adds a little glowy effect you can see the difference there I think that looks really nice um, put that all into a group then that's step two you can duplicate step two and bring it below command T increase the size a little bit hit enter it'll transform bring down the opacity and that's kind of just lingering in the background and that is basically the galaxy now you can go ahead and tweak with tweak the colors or whatever um, you notice my wallpaper here that I made mine a little purple I added some blue and whatnot but that's basically the tutorial guys hopefully you enjoyed if you did please drop a like subscribe for more to tutorials follow me on twitter at quezzy and tweet me anything you create using this tutorial i'd love to see it follow my instagram that's quezzy uh, be sure to check out my patreon page and my store uh, down below i appreciate any support there thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one peace